Hello everybody, this video is going to introduce the functionality in release 18 that allows the GM to request a saving throw from players. So release 18 has some quite new features in it around tracking the result of a saving throw and applying all of the relevant effects to, a, to targets of that saving throw. And previously, uh, if somebody makes a saving throw for, sorry, previously for this automation to be applied, um, the GM would have to make the saving throw. So here we have a, um, oh, we have a gorilla with their frightening display, which triggers a will save. We've got a couple of characters um, targeted here. I'll just check, yeah, we've got to, I'll target a couple of characters. And we, we trigger a will save and the, saving, the, the dice are automatically rolled and the result is displayed um, in the window here. Um, so I know that some players like to roll the saving throws and things themselves. I also know that there's some feats and features that potentially allow you to re-roll um, some of these uh, actual uh, saving throws. So what's been introduced in release 18 is the ability for the GM to request a player to actually make a saving throw. So currently the way this has been implemented is you essentially do exactly what you'd normally do to trigger a saving throw, except you hold down the Alt key first and then you double click. Now what that does is, uh, you may have seen there's two um, effects. An effect has been applied to each of the targets saying that they need to make a will save with it's, sorry, it's a PC roll effect. Um, they need to make a will save. The DC is 20. It includes various uh, traits that are applicable to that saving throw. Um, if it was a basic saving throw, it would tag it with basic as well. And this REF1 is actually just reference one. That's what's used by the system in the background to tie this all together. I may change ref to something else because that could be confused with reflex. But now this is sitting out there and it's waiting for each of these um, characters to make a will save. So on the right hand side of the screen here, this is actually a player instance uh, and I've got Wizzy um, logged in on, on another instance just off screen. So there's, you know, the GM tells the players, can you make a will save please? There's this uh, PC roll effect that's actually um, in the combat tracker and when they make a will save, that's going to be matched to that PC um, will save so it's that PC roll effect in the combat tracker and you can see it's brought in the um, the actual traits as well that are, that are relevant to that um, and it's even applied an effect to that because um, this character has a plus one circumstance bonus to will saves with the fear trait. So that's matched that there's actually a fear trait there um, and it's uh, displayed there's a plus one effect and it's made the roll. Um, actually, I'm not showing um, results here, so that's not popping up. But on the GM side, I can actually see that that's been a success. And we can actually see in the um, that the effect's been changed to be a success as well. I'll just make a roll off screen for Wizzy as well. He needs, needs to make a will save. And it, that's a critical failure um, after it. So this has all been uh, tracked one in these effects in the combat tracker. That's really just for information that has been stored in, in the system's memory so that when um, effects are applied um, that are relevant to this, uh, to this save result, um, then they'll, they'll actually be applied. If for some reason, you know, Wizzy doesn't like that and they want to um, use a hero point, then they can use a hero point, they can re-roll there will save. Um, this time they get a 20, which is success, which is much better. And you can see the systems change that to a success. So when everybody's happy with their role or you know, unhappy with them, as the case may be, um, then the GM needs to just apply all effects. So this is similar to the um, apply all effects button that I've introduced in another video, this uh, apply all effects there. Um, this is essentially just going to apply all of those effects. So we have uh, two successes. So um, actually nothing's going to happen with that. So I'll just reroll until I get a failure. 
Uh, there you go, that's better, just so we can demonstrate what actually happens here. So, um, Wizzy has a success, so nothing should happen, and Antaro has a failure, so they should get the, uh, the flat-footed and the frightened condition applied to them. Because on a failure, it should be frightened one, and they're flat-footed um, while they're frightened. So, apply all effects, we can see flat-footed and frightened have been applied to Antaro, nothing's been applied um, to Wizzy. Uh, you can see those um, PC roll effects have been removed from the combat tracker because we've now completed the whole of that process. Your people did their rerolls and things like that and we, then, we, then we applied all of the effects. So as a, another example we've got Test Beastie up here which has a nasty reactive ability. Uh, creatures adjacent to the Beastie are sprayed with nasty stuff that deals 2d6 acid damage. There's a DC 19 reflex save uh, and on a critical success no damage a success they take um, half damage and become sick and one failure they take full damage become sick and two critical failure they take double damage and become sick and three so this is actually an example of a basic save you know so um, if you get critical success no damage success half damage and so on and also applying effects as well based off the result of the saving throw um, so you know, for this, uh, this nasty beastie, it's, you know, these two characters, Antara and Wizzy, are adjacent. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to do this basic uh, reflex save. And to tag uh, the effects, the PC roll effects, we hold down Alt and double click. And we can see that we've got DC 19 basic traits, just a basic um, we'll say, uh, reflex save there. And that's been applied to the characters. So now we can do our reflex saves. Um, so that's a critical failure. Ooh, he's going to take double damage. And Wizzy's, um, he's got critical success, so he, he won't take any damage at all. So you know when we're happy with all of these, just like before, um, but there's two things to do here. We need to apply the damage and we need to apply all effects. So the first thing we apply damage. It doesn't matter, you could do it in a different order, uh, but I just like working across here. So Wizzy's going to take nothing, Antara's going to take double. Um, that's at least what we should see here. So Wizzy takes zero, Antara takes 14, which was double damage. Ooh, that wasn't nice. Uh, and then we apply all effects. And note when we apply all effects, these. Um, PC roll effects will actually be removed as well. So we apply all effects, the effects have gone, and Antara is sick in three. Um, Wizzy doesn't take anything. And so, you know, now we're just ready to continue on. So that's just a quick example of, you know, how this has been programmed within the system. Uh, at this point, at the time of making the video, uh, this is this is going to be going into the test channel. There's probably some things I'm going to have, I'm going to just change slightly how things work. Um, you know, definitely display in the in the chat window the result of the of the PC's individual roll. Um, I think that might be related to me running more than one instance um, on the same computer, but I will check that. And but basically, this process and the um, everything that's involved with it in the system is is what's going to be uh, deployed as part of release 18. So I uh, hope you find this useful in your games, and thanks for watching.